We actually had someone come into the restaurant asking, like demanding for the onion. They're like, we flew all the way from New York for this. And I'm like, we don't have it on the menu. Hi, my name is Maylin. I'm from Nightshade Restaurant in Los Angeles, and I'm here to make a Tum Yum onion, AKA a Bloomin' Onion. So here we have some Adelia onions. These are really sweet and they're not abrasive. At the restaurant, we use Maui onions. They're just a flatter onion. They kind of sit on the plate really nice so they don't like wobble around. We would go through like cases on cases of onions just so we can sort them to the perfect shape that we want. So we're just gonna cut this and peel that outer skin off. I grew up in a suburb of Detroit and Outback would be one of those places that I would go to after school with a few of my friends and you know our go-to dish was the Bloomin' Onion. So this is kind of my inspiration of that dish but just with different flavors. So we're just gonna cut and rotate. And see I'm just using my thumb to push the blade down. We wanna make sure we don't go all the way to the root because this is what is gonna keep the onion together. I actually like to go about a quarter of a inch when cutting. It's like the perfect petal size. And we actually hand cut this at the restaurant. We're just gonna cut it down a little bit more so we can make it bloom. I tried a bunch of different ways to cut the onion, like really thin and really thick, kind of finding like that happy medium. You want it crispy and you want it to retain that shape when it comes out of the fryer as well. I'm just gonna separate all the layers because we want it to cook evenly in the fryer. So we have this middle core right here that we're actually gonna take out because it doesn't cook very well. Like we'll probably prep around 40 onions a day. Probably takes me about 40 minutes or so. Like every table would get one. Someone sees one on the table, they're like, all right, what is that? I gotta have that, like that looks fun. We gotta try it now. <laughs> so here's this finished onion. We're actually gonna soak it in buttermilk. We just wanna make sure that all the buttermilk gets into all the layers. You can wait for it to soak in the liquid before dredging. It's actually better to kind of have it soaking and then have it sit in the flour. It's just so it doesn't kind of sog out in the fridge. So we have our onion soaking in the buttermilk liquid for about five minutes before we dredge in the dredging flowers. <laughs> for the dredge, we actually went pretty simple because you want to really just get a nice crunch on it because you want to taste the flavor of the onion. We have all purpose. We have our cornstarch, our rice flour, baking powder, and salt. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually put on some gloves because it's gonna get a little messy. I'm just gonna mix the flowers thoroughly before adding the onion. I went through like 10 trials of making dredge, trying to find the ratios. That's why I use a rice flour and cornstarch mix. The starch helps a lot because that actually ensures that the dredge would be crispy. All right, so we have our onion. We're just gonna add this to the flour, layer by layer. We're gonna get that flour in there so it's coated nice. So this is like basically the most time consuming of the process. We basically had like two people just dredging. It's pretty insane, but you make a few at home and it's perfect. It's like the best party food. It really is. You really wanna ensure that each layer is coated because you wanna cook it thoroughly. This is it. So really it's like perfect when you let it sit and cure for about, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. I can just leave it out actually. You can't really have the onion without sauce. These are all the ingredients that we're gonna use for our dipping sauce. It's just our version of a ranch. It's a coconut ranch. And we're gonna start off by zesting our limes. Here we have the zest in the bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the garlic chives. So if you can't find garlic chives at the store, regular chives works just as well. The tops are buds and we can use those as well. It's just a lot more flavor. So we have the coconut cream. Coconut cream actually gives it a lot more body, so it's thicker, but also for flavor as well. Coconut milk. I'm gonna get our garlic 
This dish actually fit in pretty well with the menu at Nightshade, just because it was like a great fun starter that can kind of get that conversation started. Just something that everybody can kind of get their hands dirty with. It's a crowd pleaser. We're actually gonna transfer this into the blender and just kind of blend this until it's smooth. So now we have the finished product in the blender. And now we're gonna add the lime juice. We have salt, some sugar, and sour cream, and mayonnaise. So the reason why we don't blend the rest of these ingredients with the stuff that we blended is because I don't want it to fall flat. Like this is gonna give the sauce a lot of body and viscosity. We're just gonna whisk the rest of these ingredients in. Last but not least, the coconut vinegar. What we're looking for is an emulsion of all the ingredients, but we're gonna add this into the whipper. It's just like you can use for whipped cream at home. Just aerates the dipping sauce and kind of makes everything a little bit lighter. Just wanna make sure you shake it while you charge it as well. In the restaurant, we actually like to tell our cooks to shake it about 25 times. So if you don't have one of these at home, the sauce as is works perfectly. You just make sure you chill it a little bit. Here, I just like to test it a little bit just to see if it comes out like we want. <laughs> and then that happens, so that's always fun too. <laughs> I've never used this one before because this one's a little tight. That's why. Okay, perfect. We're gonna leave this in the fridge to chill while we fry this onion. So the key is you wanna have it fry upside down before you flip it in the fryer, just to ensure all those layers are cooked. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this bad boy in. Well, it's creating steam, so you kinda wanna stay back a little bit, just make sure you don't get burned. So we're probably gonna cook it for another three to five minutes. So it's starting to get golden brown around the edge. We can start to flip this guy. This is like the reveal right here. So we know that it's nicely cooked. All right, it's time to pull this guy out. And right now is actually the best time to sprinkle on our tum yum spice because the onion's still nice and hot. It has tamarind, kaffir lime leaves, galangal, lemongrass, ginger, onion, garlic, salt, and sugar. I wanted to make a spice that will kind of lend well to the flavor of the onion. So you have this item that's deep fried, rich, fatty. You want to cut it with a lot of acid. All right, so this is ready. And we're gonna spray this into our ramekin. And this is our finished dish. The best way to tackle this thing is kind of just get at the layers. I kind of like to start on the outside, kind of work my way in. Just kind of dip a dip. Nice and crunchy. Literally lightens up the whole dish, dipping it in the, the sauce. Mm. I want to say it's better than Outback, but... For the recipe, click the link below and come into Nightshade for some fun goodies.